What is up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Pisces for September 10th to the 5th, nope, sorry, September 15th to the 20th of September 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me or your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind. You can find all the information for how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera, like always for you Pisces, so let's get right into the reading. Two of Cups, Page of Swords, Ace of Cups. So, <coughs> excuse me, the Two of Cups represents a soulmate flame, twin flame energy. Uh, I like to point out that this card, a lot of people think, oh, there's only one. Uh, you only have one soulmate in your life, and for some people, that is true. But for everybody else, your soulmate can be your dog, your cat, your boyfriend, your ex, your um, your best friend, your dad. It doesn't matter. We have, we, generally, we all have more than one soulmate. A soulmate is somebody that comes with you to be with you in this lifetime to meet you across some point of time during your lifespan here right now. Um, and that is what that card means. And it can be platonic, it can be romantic, it doesn't really matter. Because I got romantic inclinations with the Ace of Cups, though, I'm going to say that it's somebody that you were romantically involved with. It's locking eyes or across the room with somebody and just kind of know. And the person that you were doing with this with is going to be either a... Uh, a Gemini, Libra, or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius individual, or they're going to have the traits of this Page of Swords, which I'm not going to be very nice about him. He is kind of a dick. He's um, actually the dickiest dick in the whole deck. He's not a fantastic card to get for somebody's personality. He is a gossip. He's very immature. You're in the most or mentally immature. Um, he is very, very, very good at talking, and he could, because of that, be very controlling, manipulative, and a gaslighter. He is somebody that is a gossip. He's a sneak. He's a liar. He does things for himself, um, and he only really sees things in black and white, and he is not, he doesn't think openly. He, he's kind of shut out to everything other than his own truth and his black and white thinking. His truth is it. Um, it represents that you are getting together with somebody that is like that. Uh, and albeit if you, if you recognize that or not, that doesn't matter because I see something starting between the two of you. He's coming in and it's either that you recognize this already and you're choosing to start a relationship with him or, you're, or, or you are. He's either coming in to offer you emotion. It's probably going to be accepted. He, or he's coming in to offer you an apology. So for that reason, because it could be an apology or a rekindling of something, there's a possibility that it could be an ex. But the Ace of Cups is something new. So it would, in sense, be something new. It would be doing something new for the first time. Uh, it'd be a wellspring of new emotion in any, any sense that you want to bring this. So um, the possibility is there for either you choose to go along with this person and accept his invitation to an emotion, to an apology. Um, it could be somebody that you already know or don't. It doesn't really matter. Um, but for some instances, for some of you, it will resonate that it is somebody in your past that you are trying to work this through with. Um, knowing who he is regardless. I'm going to pull one card for where this goes for you longer term, Pisces, with this person if you follow this along. Okay, so we have the world. Um, it can sometimes mean, it does represent goal completion. It can sometimes mean ending, so this could sometimes be a closure card. But can I have one more card to deny or confirm that thought? It is. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles represents doing something alone. Um, I, I kind of, I think that this person is going to come back and apologize, but long term, I think that this person is not suited for your energy. And I think that what's coming in is probably going to be some sort of closure. Um, that doesn't mean that right, right now you might still be together, but in the end, I see the sense of accomplishment wrapping something up successfully with inside of yourself to do something alone. And because she is always portrayed as somebody alone doing things for herself because she doesn't she doesn't really need a man in her life to make her better um, this to me represents that this isn't go it's going to wrap up successfully for you but probably not for him it's going to for you um, look good in your eyes it's you're going to successfully wrap something up so I think I think that there's still emotions attached to this but at the end of the day I see you being better alone um, this is not a bad spread especially because I'm kind of biased towards the Page of Swords. He never really comes in for somebody that is super fantastic. Um, but this definitely ends with you kind of knowing your boundaries, knowing your, what you want, um, working to... These are both goal success cards, and I think you're going to reach that no matter what. 
um, this person be damned. It doesn't matter if they're there or not. Um, but I, I, at the end of the day, I do think that this is something where um, it, you're, you're going to be better off alone type of thing. And that's not bad, Pisces. This is really good shit. I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.